Now, when you install Python, uh, what you do is you make available the Python built-in code. An example of this built-in code would be the print function. So let me open a command window here and call Python. So when you say print, you execute and everything works perfectly. So where did you get this print function from? Well, when you uh, start a Python session, like here in the interactive shell, or when you are on a script, a Python script, the session loads together with a bunch of built-in uh, functions and methods. And this is one example, so the print function. Now, there are also commands that are not loaded when Python loads. And these are considered to be less frequently used by programmers. So it has been judged that it's not a good idea to load everything into memory when you load Python. So the solution here, the workaround, is that you can load these commands explicitly yourself uh, when you need them. And to do that, you use the import keyword. So let's say you want to concatenate, so to merge a bunch of text files that you have in a directory in a folder. So you want to merge the text in one single file. And what you need first is you need to create maybe a Python list uh, where you have as items, you have all the file paths that you want to con concatenate. And to generate a list of file paths in the current directory, you'd need a module called OS. So you need to import OS, because you know if you just do OS.listD, which is a function that lists the file paths, uh, you'll get an error, it says a name OS is not defined. So what you do is you import OS, and that is successful if you don't get an error, and then OS.listD, and yeah, you get an empty list because I have nothing in here at the moment. So I'll go, I'm gonna create a file sample1.txt and now you get a list with this file name. So what you did is you access the list dir method of the OS module and you can see a list of available methods that you can apply to your OS module. So dir OS and yeah among them you'll find list dir which is here so just here and yeah don't get scared about this uh, entire code uh, you don't have to know these. I mean, I don't know most of them. I've just used only a few of them. When the need comes to do something, you just try to Google and uh, you'll, you'll have people who have had the same issue. So you'll get the answer in some forums like Stack Overflow and you'll see uh, what other people have used. And yeah, this is called introspection. So when you inspect your code, when you see information about the code, like we did here with a dir function, and yeah, OS is a module. We also have libraries and packages, uh, we, which basically are the same thing, but I'll go through them uh, one by one. So let's focus on module first. And the module is just a, a Python file, a .py file. So if you apply the file method with double underscore in front and on the back, and you'll get the path of the module. So you can see here it's uh, the, the module name is OS. So the file name is OS.py. And you can go ahead and locate that file now. Uh, I think it should be this one here. Yeah, uh, here it is. So this is my Python installation. And you have a lib folder in there. And just inside that, you have all the uh, external modules that you can import in uh, Python. So you can try any of them if you like. Like import pickle. And if you don't get an error, that is successfully imported. And you can also ask for help, pickle, to see what the uh, m module is about. So create portable serialized representations of Python objects. And this particular module is used for network programming. So if you're interested, you can look at that. And yeah, if you, you can open this file with any kind of editor. And yeah, this is quite scary. Uh, you don't have to understand this code. This will do the work on the background. But it's just good for your information to know what a module is. All right. Now, there's also the concept of libraries. And libraries have usually more code, so people who build them, uh, they just decided to write the code into different files instead of just one .py file.
so you have a collection of .py files in for libraries. However, the way you use uh, libraries in Python is the same. So let me locate a library here. So we're still in the lib folder and all these uh, folders that you see now are libraries. For instance, SQLite 3. If you go ahead and say import SQLite 3, and that is successful. So you do the same thing as you did with modules. And if you look at SQLite 3, you'll see a bunch of Python files, as I said. And here you have files as well. You don't have to know this, uh, but basically what happens is uh, when you import a library, this init.py uh, file is executed in Python, and this contains the code that loads um, all the available methods in Python. Now, this particular one, what this does is it, it, it imports yet another file into Python, so a module SQLite 3 uh, DB API 2, uh, which is this one here. So it refers to SQLite 3, uh, the folder name, and then a dot, and then DB API 2, the name of the uh, a file of the Python file that is important and then inside here you have other code and so on you don't have to know this it's enough to understand the structure and yeah that's uh, about libraries and modules and these modules and libraries they come with your Python installation by default however they don't do every possible thing that is out there and that's why third-party modules and libraries exist and these are often referred to as packages. Now these packages, they, they don't come with the default installation of Python. And the good reason for that is there are lots and lots of packages out there and you don't want to, to get a heavy installation there on your computer by default. There are packages of biology and astronomy, web scrubbing, everything. And so there are things that you, you're not really interested. And yeah, the solution to that is yeah, you install these packages and then you use them just as you do with modules and libraries. And the way to install them is you just open your terminal, uh, so a command line on Windows, terminal on a Mac and Linux. The directory doesn't matter. And all you do is you say pip install, um, let's install glob2. So this is a package, or you can refer to it as a third party library. And you hear people referring to uh, packages as the third-party libraries. And yeah, this installs Glob2 for you. Now you can go ahead and access it in any Python session. Glob2, and yeah, you're done. Similarly, you can ask for help for that package, so help Glob2. And yeah, you see what this is about. And sometimes, though, they don't say what they're about in the help file, so you'll have to, to search on the internet for Glob2. And every package has its own page, almost. So Glob2, uh, just like that, and yeah, you go here. So what this does is it captures patterns uh, and supports recursive with cards. Um, basically what this do is, uh, you know, if you say Glob2.glob, and, ah uh, yeah, you should need to pass uh, file path there, sorry. And yeah, what this does is when you pass an asterisk there, it lists all the files in there. But if you want only the text files, uh, you do want to say uh, asterisk.txt and it gives you every file that has a txt extension. So in this case, uh, you have this particular file in that directory. And this is useful over a list uh, dir because you know if you want to only get access the, the txt files and you'd want to do this because in a directory you may have lots of files and uh, this allows you to access only a few of them and yeah now about pip so you, you saw me use this pip package actually pip is a library that comes installed with python and you can find it in the scripts folder uh, pip, yeah, uh, so pip.exe is for Windows. Um, pip is normally in the computer search path, uh, which underlies that, you know, uh, when you are in your in your terminal and you do pip, 
your computer knows where to get pip from, so it gets this pip.exe. Uh, pip then, what pip does is it downloads the package, and once it downloads it, it installs it. So if you go up here, yeah, it says uh, pip install globe 2 and downloading and then installing the package. And then the package is there in your system and you can use it as you do with modules and libraries. So to sum it up, modules are Python scripts that you can import into Python, and libraries are collections of Python scripts, and you can import libraries as well, and also packages are third-party libraries. So three different terms are there, but a library, you can use the term library as a general term for anything that is imported in Python. Uh, you know, just for the sake of simplicity, people do this. So that's about this uh, lecture, and you could even make it uh, through without knowing this information uh, that you got from this lecture. But it's good to understand uh, uh, these things, as you can also understand and, and be able to fix problems that you might you might get with modules and libraries or, or packages. So yeah, if some things look unclear to you, then just drop a question, and I'll talk to you in the next lecture.